Hi, my name is Tony and today we will make a hip pouch just like this one. I will show you how to use the pattern, what type of leather you need and uh, walk you through every step of the process so by the end of this video you will know how to make one of these yourself. Let's go right into it and start by downloading the pattern. I have to mention this pattern is included with your YouTube membership for this channel and uh, I'm gonna leave you details on how you can join and become a member down in the video description. This pattern is also available in the largest shop for leather patterns in the world. You can get hundreds of designs there, all of them super easy to put together, just like this one will be. After you get the patterns, I recommend you open and print them with Adobe Reader. Just make sure you choose actual size in the printer settings and measure the test page to be certain the page is printed correctly. Some of the pieces are larger than a regular page, so next I will show you how to assemble them together. Next, let's talk about the leather and the hardware pieces you're gonna need. I used six ounces semi-vegetable tan leather, which in metric is 2.5 millimeters thick. I prefer this type of leather for this particular build because it's not too soft, not too stiff, very easy to work with, and uh, it doesn't really need any lining, all right? And it's already dyed in this beautiful brown color. So all I had to do was address the edges. More on that later. Don't forget the hardware, pretty basic stuff. You have a zipper, a couple of buckles, a couple of rivets, and one sun brown button. That's all you're gonna need for this pouch. And if you want to get all of these pieces in one place, I'll leave a link to our hardware shop down in the video description. So, after you got everything ready, place all the paper patterns on top of your leather, and if you have a whole side like me, maybe cut it to a more manageable size before you carry on. I always use masking tape to hold my pattern on top of the leather, but you can of course create cardboard patterns and use those if you plan on making a lot of these. As it is the case with all my patterns, all the stitching holes are marked, so go ahead and punch all 20 of them, all the 20 stitching holes, maybe more. I can't count well. After you punched all the holes, go ahead and cut out the leather pieces. Mm -hmm. 
before we continue, I need to talk about the way I chose to connect the front to uh, this piece here, the gusset, all right? You might have noticed this extra piece sticking out from in between here. Well, this piece right here has no practical purpose. It adds a lot of extra work and it's completely optional, but it looks cool. So let me show you how to do it. First, we need to sky this front piece and the edge of the gusset where they connect. Now, I'll be the first to admit, skiving edges sucks balls, all right? Now, a sharp knife and years of experience will help, but I got none of that, all right? So I went ahead and used some of that YouTube money and bought myself a skiving machine. Thank you all for watching my videos. Before we move on and uh, stitch all the pieces together, I think it's best we have a look and see how all the pieces need to look like, what edges need to be scythed, uh, what edges need to be painted, and uh, so on. Note, this long strip here can be thinner as well. Not absolutely necessary, but it will help. Other than that, if anything is unclear, watch this portion again, because we are moving on. Two zippers. Another thing leather workers love, attaching zippers. But don't worry, I got you covered. I'll be here to hold your hand through this next very easy step. 
Start by trimming your zipper to about 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters. Then remove the stoppers at both ends and pull the slider out. Now open the other end, a couple of inches, and get that slider right back in there. Time to use either double-sided tape or glue to hold the zipper in place just while we punch the stitching holes and stitch it all to this opening right here. So far, so good. I told you it will be easy. Now grab a compass, mark the stitching line and punch them holes just like I said earlier. After you do, use thread and a couple of needles and sew it all nice and tight. But not too tight or else uh, you're going to get those nasty ripples in the zipper. Good. The zipper is done. It's all over. You can go grab a coffee and when you come back, we can continue by connecting the two ends of the gusset just like I'm doing here. Time to assemble the main body. We're gonna have the front pocket with uh, this little strap already uh, riveted in place. We're gonna have the front piece with the flap also attached, uh, closing strap and everything, okay? And this thin long strip, and of course, uh, this big piece uh, at the middle here or the gusset with the zipper on top. I will use a stitching positioning needle to hold everything together before I start the stitch and be sure to center them correctly. Also very important, start from the third hole. Leave a couple available for when you bring this around so uh, you can overlap them.
when you get to uh, this side here, remember to add the other side of the front pocket, all right? This guy here. After you complete the loop and get to the starting point, insert the end of the strip inside this other one here and close the stitching using the two holes you left out at the start. Now listen here, I told you getting this type of stitch was more work, but I also told you it was optional, all right? The bag will work just fine without it, all right? It's gonna be vanilla, but you know, some people prefer that, entirely up to you. Leave it on, add it in there, you decide. After you're done, you can admire it for a couple of seconds, but for now, we need to move on to the back, and more precisely, we're gonna need to connect these two pieces of uh, leather together. Rings attached, let's go ahead and connect the two main pieces of the bag. But before you do, make sure you center them properly, all right? Right down here in the middle.
Next, I'll use uh, this metal die to punch these two strap holes here and here and uh, finish these two small stitches around it as well. Good, now straps and buckles. Pretty basic stuff, a couple of stitches, two buckles, and before you know it, this great looking hip pouch is ready. And I have to congratulate you if you made your own hip pouch or uh, I'll thank you for watching if you just enjoyed this video and uh, you know watched it all the way up to this point. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already and uh, next time we publish a new video you're gonna be the first to know. That's it. I'm done. Peace. I'm out. This looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Zipper.